Frederick Trigu Pula's 1988 painting, Ngolua, is a powerful commentary on the decolonization of Africa. The artist lives and works in Brazzaville, a city known as the capital of French politician Charles de Gaulle's Free French Africa movement. The central figure of the painting is de Gaulle, who ran the Free France movement to liberate his country from the Nazi regime during World War II. The title of the painting, Ngolua, is a play on words. In the Congo, the word Ngolua means to be strong, but also bears a phonetic resemblance to Golwa and de Gaulle. De Gaulle's head is placed onto a limbless marble torso held up by African hands. The marble torso is symbolic of classical Western sculpture. With no arms and no legs, de Gaulle relies on the support of the African people. One of the figures holding de Gaulle aloft is Félix Eboué, then the administrator of Chad. Eboué's support for de Gaulle helped put the weight of African colonies behind the Free France movement, ultimately helping liberate France. The other figure supporting de Gaulle's body represents a Senegalese tirailleur, a branch of the French army composed of soldiers recruited from African colonies. The figures of de Gaulle and the tirailleur represent fetishes, objects believed to be charged with a supernatural force. Many people in Brazzaville have shrines to them in their homes. By 1959, de Gaulle had granted independence to former French colonies. In the background, the artist depicts his version of Eugène Delacroix's La Liberté Guidant le Peuple. In Pula's version, a group of indigenous Congolese move across the canvas, proudly hoisting the flag of the Republic of the Congo. Trigo Pula is recognized as one of the most important artists to emerge from the Republic of the Congo in recent years. Ngolua is a masterly depiction of the world that shaped him. Mm-hmm.